In this video, I'll be demonstrating briefly on how to use all three programs together, VACAD, SheCam, and Mach 3 to make parts. I will go through this video quick, but I will try to be thorough. First, open up VACAD. I'm going to select the square tool, find my origin, click and drag, make a 5x5 five five square. Now I'm going to take my radius tool and fillet the lines at 0.5. Next, I want to put a 2 inch circle right in the center of this. So I'm going to go to my center point eclipse, find this midpoint, find this midpoint, and there's our intersect. Drag this out, make my uh, line 1 for my center point 1 inch, and my L2 for my center point 1 inch. So these will combine to make 2 inches because you go. 1 inch this way, 1 inch that way, makes 2 inch circle radius. Next, I want to put a half inch circle on each of these corners. And I can do that very easily by clicking, dragging, 0 0.25, 0 0.25 to make a half inch circle. And then I'm just going to simply edit, copy, edit, paste to paste them. Edit paste, edit, paste. Now we basically have a part made. Now we're going to go to file, export, export as DXF, drawing, in inches, hit OK. We're going to name this test, circle, part, save it on the desktop as a DXF. Now we're going to go to Sheet Cam, open it up, file, new part, yes, we're going to find our part, test circle part, hit OK. We see Sheet Cam has already identified the inside and outside layers. But I'm going to go ahead and make my own outside layer. So edit contours, right click, move to layer, a new layer which we're going to rename outside. Hit OK. Now we're going to go to operations, create a new jet cutting operation. Inside offset, layer, inside. So we're going to do layer 1 which is our inside. Tool, 12 gauge small holes. Lead in and lead out of the arc at 0.2 and 0.2. And we're going to repeat the process. So create new jet cutting operation. Outside offset. Layer outside. Tool 12 gauge. And lead in and lead out of arc at 0.2. Now we're going to go to the P for pulse process. And the tools we made in a previous video showing you how to use and operate SheCam. So now we're going to go to Post Process, save it as G code, test circle part, hit save, hit OK. Now we're going to open up Mach 3, and in Mach 3, we're going to move our table to our starting position. So let's say we want to start the table there. Now we're going to zero out our X, Y, and Z. Load G code, test circle part. Now we have our part loaded. As you can see, it's right here. Now, since we've already zeroed out our part, we can all go ahead and just hit start to run the part.
and now a part has been ran and should have been cut out. Thank you for watching.